good morning dear students so we will start application of differentiation now in application of differentiation i divided into two segments one is tangent and normal of a curve and second is increasing and decreasing function this is in one segment and in second segment we will go related rates and maxima minima of a functions fine so this application of differentiation we will go in two lectures today we will discuss tangent and normal of a curve and increasing and decreasing of a functions fine and then based on these problems you will have in your homework see in nda what happens in application there are sums but not so difficult one it's a basic they just wanted to know whether all of you aware or not about this application of differentiation so the problems are simple one fine what you have to do you have to go through the videos and do practice problems so that you will find confidence although this topic it is there in your class 12th syllabus also so again it will help you there also and if you have already done there then it becomes very simple here to understand everything of application of differentiation fine dear so let's start with a first topic which is tangent and normal of a curve means it is going to be tangents also it is more than one tangent also it sometimes in curve passes fine so tangents and normal of a curve so uh, we will start with tangent and normals see in calculus regarding this tangent and normal first we have to understand tangent tangent is a straight line correct what is tangent tangent is a straight line which touches the curve at a one point fine so tangent is a straight line which touches to any curve let's say this is curve so this tangent is passes let's say at a one point so this is known as tangent and what about normal normal is again a straight line which is perpendicular to the tangent this is the basic definition of tangent and normal to a curve tangent is a straight line which touches a curve at a one point is known as tangent and normal is a straight line which is perpendicular to the tangent correct so these are tangent and this is normal correct dear and both are straight lines and this normal is perpendicular to tangent so the slope of the tangent let's say the slope of tangent is 1 so the slope of normal is becomes minus 1 why all of you know product of slope is minus 1 when two lines are perpendicular to each other so if slope of this tangent is 1 then the slope of this normal is minus 1 this is basic i believe you know in uh, straight line also we all of you aware so product of two slopes is minus 1 so now this we know that basic that this is tangent is a straight line and normal is also a straight line now in why we use uh, use this tool a calculus tool why we are using to find the tangent and normal to the curve because what happens there in without calculus in for any curve if you want to calculate the equation of tangent it becomes very difficult because in that place we are unable to get the slope of that a uh, tangent fine so that calculus came into the picture calculus what does it provides slope to this tangent why which we we know the definition of uh, uh, derivative see now via calculus we are introducing how we can get the slope of the tangent see geometrical meaning of a dy by dx we came to know that if we differentiate a curve at a point let's say p x1 y1 so we have a one tangent when we differentiate at a point to any curve y equals to fx we get the slope of the tangent that is m equals to tan theta and this discussion i did in a previous uh, uh, video in differentiation the chord becomes when tends to left and from right it goes to p and then we have one straight line that line becomes a tangent so this tangent 
passes. So dy by dx, what does? It provides the slope of this tangent, correct? So that is why this tool, dy by dx tool, we are using for any curve to get their tangent. And normal, because once slope, it will come, we'll get the equation of tangent and normal, because both are line. And we know that a line passes through a given point and having slope, we have equation y minus y1 m into x minus x1. This is a straight line. What is the equation of a straight line when passes through a given point x1, y1 and having slope, then this is known as point slope form y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. So this way we can get the equation of tangent to the curve. So this m, this m is important. This m we will get via calculus. So we have to differentiate the curve to get the m. m is a slope which is constant. How will you get? First differentiate and put the value of x1, y1 at what point it is uh, where you are differentiating. So you will get the slope m. Once we have m, we can write the equation of tangent. Same way, if we have a normal, so again we will differentiate the curve, we will get the slope and for normal, this normal is again passes through x1, y1 and the slope will become minus 1, flip it, reciprocal of this and minus sign. So, so slope of this tangent, let's say m1 is 2, so the slope of this normal becomes what, minus 1 by 2. And then again, we will write the same way equation of normal y minus y1. M we will change here because normal which is perpendicular to tangent. So here slope becomes minus 1 by 2 and x1, y1 is the point. Fine. So a, a tool which is differentiation. So when you differentiate to the curve at the point, it provides a slope to the tangent as well as slope to the normal. Fine. So that is why we use differentiation method to get the equation of tangent and normal. Correct dear? So this is very basic which I have told you that you must to remember. This is very important and conceptual part. Ki how you will get the equation of tangent and normal via calculus. Any curve you differentiate, if you know that point, that is this point, let's say any curve I took, x cube plus y to the power 2 by 3, a to the power 2 by 3, right? This is one curve. And we know the point, suppose it is given, point is 1 comma 2. Find the equation of tangent and normal. So we can get the tangent and normal to this curve via calculus. Although I don't have slope, even I don't know the graph of this curve, but via calculus, you can get the equation of tangent as well as normal with the help of this calculus, with the help of dy by dx, correct? So that is why this tool becomes very, very important. So when you go in higher classes, that tool, that dy by dx differential coefficient is a tool where you will get tangent and normal to any curve, right? Point, it is compulsory. Sometimes point is missing. That also we can calculate. Not a very uh, difficult work. So any curve, you can get the equation of tangent and normal. Fine. So there, here we have seen that uh, while differentiating at this point, we get the slope of the tangent and slope of the normal as well. Here, this tangent, suppose it is parallel to x-axis. Suppose this is curve and then at a point here, this is tangent, it is parallel to x-axis, then the slope becomes 0, means m becomes 0 when, when it is, this tangent is parallel to x-axis. So slope becomes 0, that means if any curve, when you differentiate and at that point, the value came 0, which means slope becomes 0. And that means a tangent is parallel to x-axis, correct? So if and only if dy by dx equals to 0, that means a tangent is parallel to x-axis. If tangent is parallel to x-axis, 
which means dy by dx at that point. Let's say we have x2, y2. So at x2, y2, this is equal to 0 when, when tangent is parallel to x-axis. Suppose tangent is parallel to y-axis. Suppose this tangent is parallel to y-axis. So in that case, theta becomes your 90 degree, which means dy by dx is infinity, which is nothing but 1 upon 0. Correct? When tangent is parallel to y-axis, what is going to be dy by dx? Infinity or 1 upon 0. These are basic that you have to remember. Clear here? Now, the, uh, another part it is in this tangent we require, suppose a curve. This is what one curve. And we have one tangent here. Another tangent is passing from here at this point, at this point. And we have to find the angle between the tangent. We can calculate because both are lines. Once you have a slope of this, slope of this, and we know angle between two lines, that is theta equals to tan inverse m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 into m2. So for any curve, if you want to get the angle between the tangents, you will get, because tangents are line, you will get this formula, theta equals to tan inverse, because tangent is line, straight line, and you know the angle between two lines tan inverse m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 acute angle that is why I kept it mod right here so uh, this is about a tangent and normal is same just the slope you calculate uh, flip it multiply with minus you will get the slope of normal right here so in your nd area this much basic concept it is required if you understand these basic so the question also becomes very simple to solve. Find here. So now we will move to some problems based on tangent and normal. Now look at this. Fine. So we'll start with a couple of questions based on tangent and normal. Look at it. First question is equation of tangent y equals to 4x e to the power x at minus 1 comma minus 4 by e. What we have to find? Equation of tangent. We have to find the equation of tangent at this point to this curve. Find here. No need to draw the graph. Straight away we will start differentiating. So dy by dx, y dx because function is of x. So dy by dx is 4 is constant, u into v. And you know the derivative of this, u into v, u as the derivative of u to our x, so e to the power x should have x of y. This came dy by dx. Now, at this point, dy by dx, at minus 1 comma minus 4 by e we will get a slope m we will get this is x point this is y so unfortunately there is no y so x minus 1 we will put so this is going to be minus minus 1 and this is minus 1 fine so what will happen this becomes 0 dy dx becomes 0 that means a tangent is parallel to x-axis and what is the equation therefore equation of tangent equation of tangent at this point we have equation of line point slope form y minus y1 so this become plus m we have 0 x minus x1 so this is this so therefore, y equals to 
minus 4 by e is the equation of tangent at the point minus 1 comma minus 4 by e. Clear there? Very basic. While differentiating, what we got? We got the slope. Once slope came, we are able to write the equation of tangent at this point. Uh, that is point slope form y minus y1 m into x minus x1. Clear? Suppose, if we have to find equation of normal at this point, so what is what are the change? First, we will get the slope of normal. Slope of normal is what? What is going to be the slope of normal? This is 1 upon 0 and minus. This is nothing but you write only infinite. Correct? Or 1 minus 1 upon 0. So equation becomes y minus y1 m is minus 1 upon 0 and x minus x1. So x plus 1 is 0. This is the equation of normal to this curve at this point. Only the change, you flip the slope. So 1 upon 0 is infinity and this is minus. No need to write here minus infinity. Fine. Only infinity you write. 1 upon 0 or minus 1 upon 0. 0 will go this side. Minus you multiply, you will have x plus 1 equals to 0. That is equation of normal at the point minus 1 comma minus 4 by e. Fine, dear. So this is very basic question I took. And this question came once in NDA. This yeah, NDA mein IV problem hai. Equation of tangent chahiye tha. To option mein aise equation. Op unke option bade chote chote hote hai. To ye option mein ye bitha hua tha. And that is the correct answer. They asked you the equation of tangent at this point. Unke curve bhi baut chote aayenge. Difficult curve nahi aayenge. Because they just wanted to know. You know the process. You know how to get the slope of the tangent via calculus. That is what NDA expects from all of you. Right? And that is why they give such questions. Chalenge? Next question we will move. Find it. We will have a next problem. We have to find equation of tangent to the curve x equals to 3 cos theta, y equals to 3 sin theta at theta equals to pi by 4. Fine. We have to find the equation of tangent. This is curve at theta equals to pi by 4. See, there is a method that dx parametric it is because ultimately we have to find dy by dx. Slope chahiye, point kaha se aayega, to pi by 4 aap dal denge, to x1 or y1 aa jayega. Slope nikal gaya, or point nikal gaya, you will write equation of tangent. This is what traditional method. dx by d theta karenge, dy by d theta karenge, then we will get dy by dx, correct? Or theta pi by 4 dal ke, x1, y1 point calculate kar denge. Is se bachne ke liye kya hai, ki agar mein theta ko eliminate kar diya, correct? Jo aapke coordinate geometry ka basic concept mein gaya, I'll solve this sum in two ways. First, I have squaring or adding. So, I have first method. I use karna. first method. We have coordinate geometry. Mein karte hai. This is first method I am using. x square plus y square 9. This is a circle. And you know equation of tangent to the circle. x, x1 plus y, y1 equals to a square. I believe you remember. Circle, if you have studied the circle, then you know Correct. So x x1 plus y y1 equals to a square equation of tangent. Yehuti hai. Jo aap yaad rakhte ho. Equation of tangent. x1 is 3 cos theta. 3 cos pi by 4 plus y into y1 3 sin pi by 4 and a square is your 9. Fine. Dal dije value 3x root 2 3y root 2 equals to 9. So, 
x plus y is 3 root 2. Fine. Here, किस के मैं हेल्प से किया कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री बिकॉज़ यू नो दिस फॉर्मूला इक्वेशन ऑफ टैंजेंट टू द सर्कल ठीक है एट अ पॉइंट एट अ पॉइंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एट अ पॉइंट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट इज डिफरेंट फार्मूला ठीक है वो याद रखना अपने को कोऑर्डिनेट में सर्कल एट अ पॉइंट द इक्वेशन ऑफ टैंजेंट इज दिस सो दिस वे वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दिस इज वन वे नाउ आई हैव नॉट यूज्ड एनी कैलकुलस हियर आई हैव नॉट यूज्ड एनी डिफरेंशिएशन मेथड now for this sum when we have to do via calculus so what i will do first we'll get dy by dx we have to calculate then only you will get slope so dx by d theta that is minus 3 sin theta correct there then we have dy by d theta you will get 3 cos theta fine so dy by dx is d parametric derivative it is parametric how we will get derivative dy by dx is dy by d theta upon dx by d theta so this is minus cot theta and at theta equals to pi by 4 what will be slope the slope becomes minus 1 correct at theta pi by 4 slope came minus 1 fine now we want a point point we will put substitute in this so x1 becomes 3 by root 2 and y1 becomes 3 by root 2 because pi by 4 sin 45 root 2, 1 by root 2. So equation of tangent, equation of tangent will be y minus y1, y1 is this, y minus y1, m is your minus 1 and x minus x1. This is the situation. X1 is 3 by root 2. 3 by root 2. Now you simplify. So what will happen? Root 2y minus 3 equals to minus 3 and here it is minus root 2x plus 3. Find here. Now you take this side. So root 2x plus root 2y equals to 6. Now you divide by root 2. So x plus y left with 3 root 2. See this and this is same. Fine. So this via calculus. Here we need not, you know, we need not necessarily learn that equation of tangent of a circle. See, is under you have to remember the equation of tangent of a circle at the point, but this method. We don't require to remember that formula for any curve. Let's say ellipse is different, hyperbola is different, equation of tangent at a point. But via calculus, any curve, you differentiate, get the slope. Once you have a slope, y minus y1, m into x minus x1. You can calculate equation of tangent as well as equation of normal. Fine. So no, no need to remember the formula of circle ka tangent kya hota hai, ellipse ka kya hota hai, no need to remember. Use via calculus method. That is why it is very, you know, useful method to get equation of tangent normal via calculus with the help of dy by dx. Because the, ultimately the important part is slope. Once we have a slope, point is there, we will get the equation of tangent as well as normal. Find here. So I elaborated both the method via uh, in coordinate geometry we do this way and via calculus we do this way. But my uh, request go with via calculus because you sometimes you forget the equation of tangent to the ellipse, equation of tangent of uh, hyperbola ellipse. So in that case if you have a point at a point if it is a question use calculus method. Now we will go to the next problem. See, so have one situation. We have to find the, equa the equation of tangent to this curve. 
that is parallel to the x-axis. Options are these are options. Fine. Equation of tangent we are looking of this, which is parallel to the x-axis. Fine. Yeah. So we have just discussed when a tangent is parallel to x-axis, what happens? dy by dx equals to zero. Correct. So first we will calculate dy by dx of this curve. What is going to be? One by x square is minus two minus three. One minus four by 4 into x to the power minus 2 na? so minus 3 so that is by x3 okay dy dx is 1 minus this much 8 by x cube now this is equal to 0 why there because they have said parallel to x axis so dy by dx is equal to 0 so in that case what will happen what you will get here, this is given dy dx, this one. So, x q will be what? So, when you take this side, so x q equals to 8, so x we have 2. Fine. So, x we have 2, then y becomes what? Put here 2 here. So, y equal, this will give you a point also. y 2, 2 plus 1, this is 3. So, point came 2 comma 3. Now, equation of tangent. Equation of tangent y minus y1 m m is your 0 x minus x1 x1 is 2 so what will happen y minus 3 is 0 therefore y equals to 3 is the equation of tangent clear so they have mentioned that to this curve the tangent is parallel to the x axis so, when tangent is parallel to x axis, it means what? dy by dx equal to 0. So, for curve, we calculate first dy by dx and equate it to 0. From there, we got x equals to 2 as well as y equals to 3. Those are points. Correct? And at this point, the tangent is passes. And then, equation of tangent we have written, which is y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. Fine? m is 0, m is 0 because it is parallel to x axis. So, y equals to 3 is equation of tangent. Clear here? Now, we will move to some more problems. 